All right, guys, in most episodes, we wait till the end of the day and we do a tackle overview talking about all the things that produced on that particular day. We're gonna switch it up a little bit on this episode and talk about frog fishing. Frog fishing is absolutely my favorite way to catch monster bass. So instead of waiting it to the end, I'm just gonna talk to you about some of the things that actually work. And here's the deal, frog fishing is a hit or miss proposition. There's days that you're gonna smash them and then there's days you're just gonna pound the water into submission and that's just all there is to it. But the fact of the matter is when you catch that fish, that monster bass in shallow water with a vicious topwater strike, there's nothing like it. So a couple of the types of lures that I like to use is I like to use the, the realistic kicking frog from Ken Daubert which is basically a foam body with the legs that kick when you pull it through the water. I like to use hollow body frogs in a number of different sizes and a number of different profiles. These, re these really soft bodied frogs from Evolve and the little pond doctor tiny micro frogs are deadly for throwing into tight places and catching numbers of bass. And you know what? I subscribe to the big fish um, big bait theory as much as anybody else, but every now and then an elephant eats a peanut and you'll get a monster bass on one of these little micro frogs. So make sure you add these to your arsenal. Now, one other product that you don't want to overlook is a hard bodied frog. This one happens to be from Evolve called the Pulse Frog. And what it is, it's a very realistic hard bodied frog that walks through the water. It's got a skirted tail and a double hook in the back with a weed guard in front of it. Now that exposed hook might look like it's gonna hang up, but I can tell you right now, you can throw that thing into the thickest stuff out there and, sm and the bass just flat out smash it. In fact, when you've got really dense vegeta vegetation, that hard body frog sometimes comes through stuff that no other frog will come through. And last but not least, every time you head out frog fishing, you should have a few soft plastic toad style baits in your box that have the flutter feet fished either on a screw lock style hook or one of my favorites, especially when fishing heavy cover, is the Mustad Big Mouth Tube Hook. And the reason that I like this hook is that shank does not have the Z in it that really holds the plastic in, in place. And intuitively, a lot of folks wanna have that plastic held in place. What I wanna have is I wanna have that plastic have the ability to collapse and pull out of the way in heavy cover when that bass grabs a hold to it. And with that heavy gauge hook, I can really drive the hook point home and get that fish's head up out of that thick cover and keep her from going down there, tangling me up and getting free. For outstanding customer service, expert advice, and an extensive selection of quality kayak fishing products, visit Hook One at kayakfishinggear.com.